And the Bible is a law book. It's not a religious book. It's written in legal code. That's what Isaiah 28, 13 says. But the word of the Lord was unto them, precept upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little. That is a perfect description of legal code. We don't even recognize it because it's written in Old English or it's written differently, but it's a description of legal code. So if we compare the United States and the Kingdom of Israel and their legal systems, the United States has a constitution as its main law. Under it are several statutes called the United States Code. Under it are many U.S. court decisions. We'd call them judgments. Okay, our court, courts construe the law and tell you how you're supposed to interpret them. From those three things come many doctrines of law like stare decisis, due process, or burden of proof. Now, if you look at all of the law, you'll find that inside the law are legal definitions of each word that you need to know. So you don't go to Webster's to understand what, the, what this word means in this statute. You read the statute to understand what that word means. Because Webster's does not give you the legal definition. In the kingdom of Israel, you have the Ten Commandments located in the Ark of the Covenant. Underneath it are over 700 statutes located on the side of the Ark. There are many Hebrew court decisions throughout the Bible as well, throughout the Torah and throughout the rest of the scriptures as well. From there, you have many doctrines of law, such as baptism, resurrection, and sanctification. Inside the Bible are the definitions of all the words you need to know. For example, sin is what? The transgression of the law. The church is missing that boat today. We don't realize that because they're not getting the definition from the scripture. Another one people misunderstand is... For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments. Love is not a feeling. We're going to talk about that in a few more slides. It is keeping the commandments. And we need to recognize that, because until we understand what love means, and until we use that definition every time we see love in the Bible, we're not going to understand all those, those, uh, 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 those passages. All right, so here's some of the Hebrew words about law. And I think this is very important to understand as well. Uh, command is the Hebrew word sava. Notice how the first word in Strong's is to constitute. Does that sound familiar? It's to constitute, to enjoin, to appoint, to give charge to a law. The second word is mitzvah. That's a command. It's a law. It's an ordinance. Then there are statutes. That's coke. That's an enactment. And then finally, there's mispot, which is a judgment. Do you see the order, how it's just the same as that we just went over? And then there are doctrines of law. Lekwok is the Hebrew word, and I'm not good at pronouncing Hebrew, so I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong. Dadake is the Greek word. Okay, those are the doctrines. And then there's Torah. That's law. Okay, if you try to compare these on this chart, you got Saba, which is to constitute a law. It's not the law, it's, it's charging a group of people with the law. That's what we did at our United States Constitution, and that's what God did with his Ten Commandments. Mitzvah are the commandments. That would be our Constitution in the United States and the Ten Commandments in the Torah. Coke is the United States Code and the over 700 statutes in the Mosaic Law. The court decisions are Mishpat, that's the judgments. And then you have the doctrines of law. It, it, every nation has this same thing. Whether you're using God's law or not is the key. All of this is what you would call Torah. And here's one of my biggest complaints about modern thinking, especially in this Hebrew roots kind of a movement. The definition of Torah does not simply mean instruction. Okay, the English word law is still the best translation. Our problem is that we don't know what law really means. Here's what the law dictionaries say. The English definition from Bovier's Law Dictionary says, Law is a solemn expression of the legislative will. Black's Law Dictionary says, Law is the solemn expression of legislative will. Who is the legislator to the Torah? Yeah. Yahweh, right? Torah is the solemn expression of God's will. I, to this day, since I've read that, have not found a better definition. If someone can think of one, explain it. But instructions does not cover it. Okay, first of all, instructions don't have penalties. Law has penalties. Okay, this is the best definition. Our problem is law today is very, very oppressive, and we, we're doing it wrong, and we don't like that term, so we don't want to use that term. But, but we're, we're using it wrong. That, that's the issue. 